What's up guys and welcome back to some more Hypixel Skyblock Iron Man. Today we're going to be going for an upgrade that's going to hopefully increase our damage a lot and hopefully make the upcoming Diana grind a lot lot easier than the last one. A couple episodes ago you guys told me to go ahead and try and upgrade our Sword of Revelations. So today that's just what I plan on doing and to do that well we're going to be getting the biggest item to upgrade this sword that there possibly is in the game. But anyways, if you're still enjoying the Iron Man series, do me a big favor, hit the like button down below and subscribe if you're new to the channel. We officially hit 100,000 subscribers. Uh, at some point, I'll do a little bit more formal of a video, kind of like a special of some sort. I'm not too sure. I might wait for the play button to do that. But I just wanted to say thank you so much for the support the last, you know, month and a half I've been daily uploading this series. It's really, really been something else. And I'm glad you guys have been enjoying it. So I guess uh, if you're new to the channel, hit the subscribe button if you want to see more of my work. And if you've been enjoying, enjoying the Iron Man series lately, hit the like button. It does mean so, so much. It lets me know that you guys, you know, still enjoy the series that I've been uploading. And I'll keep making more. But I guess without further ado, let's just go ahead and start with what we're going to be going after today. Now if we go ahead and go to the hub, the item we're going to be going after is the Wooden Singularity. This is an item that massively increases the strength of the of any wooden sword that you apply it to. It also gives it a rarity upgrade, which is perfect for the Sword of Revelations, as it's a wooden sword that needs every little bit of help it can get to be the very best sword it can be. So if you want to know how to buy that, what you're going to want to do is go over to the Acacia Biome over in the uh, Wood Park area, talk to this person, and you can see, well, how much it costs. It costs 320 of every single kind of enchanted wood, in the game, that being all six types, all five available at the park, and then the regular oak wood from the hub. This will be five stacks of enchanted of every single kind of wood, and additionally about 1.5 million coins. It's slightly less from us because we have some perks that discount some NPC item shops, but as you can see, it'll give 100 strength to this, which is the equivalent of five mythic talismans set to forceful, which is just absolutely absurd. So, uh, we have a lot of grinding ahead of us, and I'm probably gonna go ahead and, well, start the grind with dar or with regular oak wood. Now, to do this grind, what we're going to be using is full young armor, the legendary monkey, and, of course, our tree capitator. Where did I even put my tree capitator? Man, I don't even remember. Oh, it's right here. Yep, and we're gonna be using the double bit reforge to give us more foraging fortune. If you're looking for XP, then Toil will do the job for you, but since I really just want to get this done as quick as possible, we're going to go ahead and stick with Double Bit, which is unlocked by the, um, it's one of the new NPC Reforges from the Blacksmith. I mentioned this in the last episode where I did Forging, but, uh, there are new Reforges you can put on tools now, so, uh, if you have a pickaxe or an axe that you just ha don't have a Reforge on, maybe go give it a test, give it to the Blacksmith, see what you get. But, uh, I guess let's just go ahead. We have a lot of wood grinding ahead of us, so let's get the axe and let's get started. So the first type of wood we're going to be going for is by far the most annoying, and that's regular oak wood. You can already see I'm most of the way done, and all you get to do is sit here in the hub and cut down these really tiny trees. And there's less of them than in the birch person- per the birch one, so you can't just, like, mow the trees up like this, like you can with birch and spruce. You just have to sit here and, like, find the trees that have, like, the most upward- tree-ness in it what i don't know <laughs> but you just do this and let me tell you they have to fix this like oak wood is just so weird to forage compared to the other one it's not even on the actual foraging islands it's just here with the lumberjacks so i don't know but we're almost done with this so i guess let's just go ahead and wrap this up real quick and done okay there we go regular oak is done i'm actually happy to have that done because that was just probably the most difficult one to do. Uh, let's find a backpack to put this in. I never actually use backpacks for their intended purpose to store items. Let's go ahead and find a better kind of wood to grind because that one, I want a little break before I go ahead and do birch wood. You know what? We did the hardest one. Why not just do the easy one? Let's go ahead and tackle dark oak next. So for this one, well, it's pretty self-explanatory. You just go around and chop the big trees. There's, there's no explanation here even needed. Looks like we got a pretty good lobby for this, actually. I probably won't reset. I think there's only one other uh, foraging person here, so this probably won't take more than, like, 10, 15 minutes, honestly. And there we go. That's done. Okay. That was so much easier, especially because this is actually, like, okay, it was turning into a private park, but it looks like it opened up again for some reason. That really took, like, 15 minutes at most, which is really nice. So, Dark Oak is done. Let's go ahead and slap that in there as well. And what's the next wood we should do? 
I feel like we should probably go for jungle just because there's like no one really foraging. And this one would probably be another hard one to knock out. It's definitely one of the quicker ones, but usually one of the more contested of the woods. So I think we'll do this and hopefully we will get this done just as quick as the last one. A hey, foraging 27, let's go. That's uh, another level and <laughs> another level on the skill I'll probably never do again after I get this wooden singularity. So let's keep it up. We're almost halfway done with jungle and I'll see you guys when I'm done with jungle. And jungle's done. There we go. So that is what? Three out of six done. That is pretty good. Uh, where is my backpack full of wood? I'm actually not going to be able to fit the next uh, set of wood in there, which is unfortunate. But hey, that's just how it is. Uh, which one should we do next? My choices are acacia, spruce, or birch. I think I'm going to do spruce right now. And then maybe do birch, then acacia. Maybe we'll see how I'm feeling. But let's go ahead and I guess just kind of start going for spruce. Uh, I've done, I've mined spruce in the past before when I went for the wolf pet. I'd actually end up getting 16 stacks of spruce in total. So I'm quite familiar with this place already. Hopefully it won't be too bad to go. Let's go for it. I take back everything I said about regular oak wood. Spruce is so much worse. That was an absolute nightmare. I think that took well over an hour maybe getting closer to an hour and a half to get that done okay that's definitely my new least favorite type of wood to forage but i guess we have two more to do so between uh, acacia and birch i think i need to do acacia honestly it's gonna be a lot easier than birch and i need i need an easier one after that so uh let's get to work and hopefully acacia will go better than <laughs> than spruce did all right into the compersonal compactor you go. So there we go. That is five out of six that are fully, fully done. The only one that we have left to do is going to be birch, which is going to be a pain. But you know what? It'll be all right. Oh, oh, there's a new, apparently a new tweet for the nether update just got shown. That's pretty neat. Uh, I don't know, just like a pit of lava with something inside of it. Almost looks like a squid. So I guess maybe that'll be a boss or something. Who knows? But anyways, the last one we have to get five enchanted stacks of is going to be birch. So let's go ahead and do that. And then we'll be able to get ourselves the wooden singularity. Almost there and just about done. Oh, one more tree. One more tree. And now we're done. Okay. Uh, also, very, very exciting news. Uh, in between this clip and the current or the last clip, we hit 100,000 subscribers. I... It's a few hours after, I'm still honestly in absolute shock. I'm gonna kind of keep all of the- all of the celebration out, cause we got- We got things to do right now, but I cannot believe that that has happened. So if I seem like extra excited or have a lot of energy right now, I just ate ice cream and I have 100,000 subscribers. So yeah, I have a little bit of energy right now. But there we go. We have the five stacks of enchanted birchwood. And now I have to like somehow manage my inventory so I can actually- fit all of the different pieces of wood in here because I'm pretty sure it's not gonna all fit in our inventory right now. One, two, three, four, five. Oh, it does. Okay, so I just need to put the juju bow away. Oh, I think I do need to put, I'm not gonna put the drill away. I'm gonna put the axe away instead because you need like two slots free in your inventory to buy something from the NPC. I don't know why you need two, not just one, but sometimes it's a little bit weird. So if we go over to the master tactician funk we can purchase the wooden singularity for, well, a lot of wood and about 1.5 million coins. Shoutouts to my seal of the family for that 3% discount, making this like 80,000 coins cheaper. I guess that's one of the good uses for it. So without further ado, uh, combine this seriously large pile of wood and anvil with any wooden sword to add 100 strength to it. And it also gets the thick label put in front of the name. So we can go ahead and purchase that. And there it is, the wooden singularity i am not going to put it on a jerry sword please no <laughs> anyways if we go to the hub i'm going to put on our three-fourths necron and terra actually the reaper mask because that's what we'll be using during the diana event grab our where is it legendary griffin and our there we go the sword of revelations now let me say something real quick uh, this sword will deal significantly more damage against the Diana mobs, I believe double damage. So these are not the final damage numbers, but think of the increase that we're going to get from the current damage. So right now with our Griffin, 
we're dealing 94,410 damage. So whatever increase I get, it's going to be twice the increase or maybe even a little bit more. So right now, 94,164. If we go ahead and grab the anvil and combine this to make the thick, suspicious sword of revelations, an extra 100 strength. Boom. There we go. The suspicious thick sword of revelations. So now we will be dealing 109,000. So that was an increase of about 15,000 damage. And of course, remember, that's going to be pretty much over doubled. So really, this is going to be a pretty much an increase of about 30,000 damage, which, you know, that's pretty significant, especially considering how many hits most of the Diana mobs take to kill, especially the champions. That's going to make this sword so, so much better. And another thing I want to mention is we're only going to be using this sword for a little bit. The second I drop the Daedalus Axe, well, obviously, we're going to be using the Daedalus Axe because if we take a look at this, you know, it also deals double damage against the mythological creatures, and it's going to be quite a significant bit better than our Sword of Revelations. So I don't want to go on like hyper max this out with like tier 6 or tier 7 enchants, fuming books, and all that stuff. We're saving that for the Daedalus Axe. But trust me, just take a look at this chest. I am so ready for this Daedalus Axe, and hopefully this sword will help us get there. Another upgrade I was planning to do, and I'm going to put in this episode, is, well, putting Legion on our Sorrow Armor. 5, 6, 7, 8, oh, I, I lost track, dang it. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. 12 Legion books. And we're going to grab 3 4 Sorrow, not the helmet, because generally speaking, when you're doing some kind of magic find grind, you're going to be using, like, a Warden helmet or a different helmet. So, ideally, with our books, we're going to want to max out these three pieces of the sorrow boot or the sorrow armor first with legion before applying anything to the helmet so what i'm going to do is apply legion three to all of these pieces and this will improve all of our stats except health but including magic find uh, and that's going to give us a significant amount of magic find like if you think that oh i'm actually out of experience levels that's a little bit awkward hold on uh, if you think we have a lot of magic find now just wait till i go into like hub one surrounded with a bunch of people and you'll see just how much magic find we can really get and keep in mind we do not have this daedalus axe yet so we're going to make all of these legion 2 luckily legion 2 is very easy to make you just slap it like this and then now we need to make three legion 2 books and i did think pretty hard about if i was going to put legion 3 on this versus my necron and i decided that i want to put legion 3 on the sorrow first just because having high magic find is very very fun and we're not quite ready to do like max like crazy stuff to um we're not quite ready for master mode should i say but we're definitely getting there so now let's go ahead slap on the sorrow grow go grab our g drag and let's go into hub one and see just how effective legion is now real quick hold on let me get a private hub to show you my magic find without legion so right now there's no one here but myself we currently have 166 magic find and that is with the g drag now let's go to hub one try and get just a ton of people near us and really test our legion here so this is probably 30 people yeah now we have you know 187 magic find you know good 21 increase and keep in mind only three of our pieces have legion and uh they're only level three so <laughs> oh it's still going up 187 or was that the same number i totally forgot i'm pretty sure 187 is about the maximum we can get i'm pretty sure there's like 25 or so people here so 187 is our new magic find cap and it can only go up more in the coming days but i think i'm gonna call it there we're definitely getting closer to being ready for diana so uh if you enjoyed this episode of iron man hit the like button down below you know the drill if you're new to the channel or haven't already hit the subscribe button we just hit a hundred thousand subscribers so let's keep the ball rolling and keep our momentum let's see how fast we can get to 101,000. But that's it for me. Hope you all have a great rest of your day and I'll see you all in the next episode. Take care.